if you are interested in what you do that keeps you going. I've been the luckiest man in the world because I've had friends, and to have the right friends is everything. People you can depend on, people who tell you the truth if you ask something. Every day is a new adventure. Life is never completely without challenges. I don't have inspiration. I only have ideas. Ideas and deadlines. The only advice anybody can give is if you want to be a writer, keep writing. And read all you can. Read everything. The power of prayer is still the greatest ever known in this endless eternal universe. The world has always been a comic book world to me. For men must never feel a cause is hopeless. Men must never feel an enemy cannot be beaten. To me, writing is fun. It doesn't matter what you're writing, as long as you can tell a story. The pleasure of reading a story and wondering what will come next for the hero is a pleasure that has lasted for centuries and, I think, will always be with us. I'm happiest when I'm working. If I'm not working, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I see myself in everything I write. All the good guys are me. Wolverine is one of the best characters ever created in fiction. I blew it by not coming up with the idea first. For years, kids have been asking me what's the greatest superpower. I always say luck. If you're lucky, everything works. I've been lucky. I never thought that Spider-Man would become the worldwide icon that he is. I just hoped the books would sell and I'd keep my job. Comic books to me are fairy tales for grown-ups. Luck's a revolving door. You just need to know when it's your time to walk through. There's never a time when I'm not working. I don't take vacations. Being a geek has become a badge of honor. I think people have always loved things that are bigger than life, things that are imaginative. It's a lot of work, but if you really have it in you, it's not like work. It becomes fun. I wanted them to be diverse. The whole underlying principle of the X-Men was to try to be an anti-bigotry story to show there's good in every person.
If you're writing about a character, if he's a powerful character, unless you give him vulnerability, I don't think he'll be as interesting to the reader. With great power comes great responsibility. We all wish we had superpowers. We all wish we could do more than we can do. Every day there's a new development. There is no limit to the things that are happening. There must always be those with the fire of rebellion in their blood. There must always be those who will dare to fight an unbeatable enemy. Only thus can the race of man remain strong and fearless. When you work with people whom you like and you admire because they're so good at what they do, it doesn't feel like work. It's like you're playing. I guess one person can make a difference. Fans are almost always nice. I really find that they rarely come on too strong. I suppose I have come to realize that entertainment is not easily dismissed. Beyond the meaning of a work of art, it is important to people. Without it, lives can be dull. To tell you the truth, I never thought of myself as much of a success. I had a publisher who felt comics were just for little kiddies, so he never wanted me to use words of more than two syllables. While no one is expected to leap tall buildings in a single bound, our aspiring heroes will be tested on their courage, integrity, self-sacrifice, compassion, and resourcefulness, the stuff of all true superheroes. What the hell could you do? I've never been arrested. I haven't taken drugs. I've had the same wife for 54 years. Where's anything of interest to people? If you want to be an artist, carry sketch pad with you and sketch everything you see. Get so you can draw anything and it looks like what it's supposed to be. Technology isn't a villain. Technology should help. But if you just use the technology for the sake of technology, then you're cheating your audience. You're not giving them the best story and the best direction and so forth. I'm very proud of being a hack. It's why I've lived as long as I have, I think. Singing a song, playing sports, anything that entertains, that takes people away from their own problems, is good. It's fun doing something that hasn't been done before. I don't analyze things too closely. I find the more you analyze, the more you get away from spontaneity. I have never had a lap dance in Tampa or any other part of Florida. If I ever did have a lap dance, I don't think I would be discussing television ideas with the girl that was giving it to me.
I have a reputation for doing superheroes, but I like all kinds of writing. In fact, hardly anybody knows this, but I've probably written as many humor stories as superhero stories. Comics are stories, they're like novels or anything else. So the first thing you have to do is become a good storyteller. I never understood why people take drugs. They're habit forming and they can kill you. I didn't need anything to pep me up or make me feel more creative. And I didn't need them to help me with women. I always thought it was more interesting to think about Reed Richards. As you know, he had the ability to stretch, and sexually, that would seem to be a great asset in many areas. Comic books would probably be the last thing on the list of what we'll do at this point. But wherever a comic book is warranted, we're more than capable of doing them. I like Spider-Man because he's become the most famous. He's the one who's most like me. Nothing ever turns out 100% okay. He's got a lot of problems, and he does things wrong, and I can relate to that. So I'm happiest when I'm working with artists and writers and involved in stories, whether we're talking about animation or movies or comics or television. I don't really see a need to retire as long as I am having fun. I have always included minority characters in my stories, often as heroes. We live in a diverse society, in fact, a diverse world, and we must learn to live in peace and with respect for each other. My biggest regret is that I don't really have time to read. You have to be appreciative. I love Marvel and the people there. I'm glad I'm still part of it. Which of the quotes do you like the most? Please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.